Before watching the video, make sure to check out the description. You'll find a link there to register on the Bybit exchange. Bybit is my top choice for trading. It's the number one exchange in terms of trading volume. It also has the best liquidity and the lowest fees. You could save hundreds of dollars every month just from this alone. That's why I recommend signing up using my referral link in the description. By using it, you'll get a cash bonus for registering, ranging from $10 to $30,000 depending on your deposit size. Most of my referrals get about $100. Even if you don't make a deposit, you'll still receive at least $10. If you're a big trader with a substantial deposit, you could get up to $30,000. However, for larger bonuses, you'll need to reach certain trading volume requirements. On this page, you can click here to estimate the bonus you'll receive for signing up. This way you can see exactly what you'll get when you register through my link. The link is below. Well, enjoy watching. Hello everyone, I'm currently reassembling my equipment, so I've turned off the camera for now. I'm using the basic webcam, so I hope the image quality isn't too bad. In any case, this is only temporary. It won't be for more than a week. In my last review, I mentioned that I was shorting Bitcoin, but I've stopped doing that now. I closed my short position when we exited the trend. To be precise, I fixed the short at 6,400, which is slightly above the 60, 300 level. Bitcoin broke above the 200-day moving average, breaking the downward trend, so there's no point in shorting it anymore. There's no sense in continuing to short. In my previous review, I also suggested some coins for a potential reversal in case Bitcoin doesn't go lower. Those were marked with red flags. I'll update that information now, as there have been some changes. I've actually gone long on one of those coins, waves. Take a look at how a typical flash crash appears. No rebound, a sharp fall, and a strong downward trend. Then a buyer appears, forming a pattern called a diamond bottom. There are small volume spikes, but nevertheless, a bottom has clearly formed here, which is a positive sign. Moreover, this is an all-time low. The coins marked with red flags are close to their all-time lows or have updated their all-time lows against the backdrop of the current market. Before I go through each of these coins, I'll make another comment on the stock market. Remember I said that Bitcoin is rolling back in parallel with the fund updating here, which is also one of the signals of the crypto market falling, including a bearish engulfing pattern at the high. But in general, regardless of the stock market growing further, Bitcoin did not react to this at all. Moreover, all the bearish signals were ignored and the only bullish signal, this candlestick here with a large volume, turned out to be prophetic. And it doesn't really matter that Bitcoin was being sold off near the 200 level. Well, this needs to be monitored and in parallel, some coins are shooting up. Look at ZQEH up 80% in 10 days from the low. And there are quite a few examples like this, maybe not 80% of course, but the coins are shooting up significantly and those that we've drawn the bottom and bounced, I won't focus on them now. Now, just look at how the market is working right now. Other coins have already bounced off the bottom. We have examples and I'm showing you coins that haven't yet taken off. There are also examples of coins that haven't flown up much yet but are coming out of a downtrend like NIR but it hasn't shown any significant correction. These coins haven't plummeted to the bottom. I'm giving you coins that are just lying at the bottom. There might be room to fall but these are good levels where you can set a small stop loss and a pretty fat take profit. For example, my risk reward ratio for waves laying is currently 1.7. I've placed my take profit here at 1.7. 1.4 under this level. I'll be taking profits here. Overall, there's potential for long-term recovery, of course, but it could easily give 2x more. I'm taking profits at the lowest target at the nearest level. I'll be cashing out, unless, of course, the price crashes further. All right, let's go through the coins with red flags that are at the bottom. I'm talking about all-time lows or close to it for MSGO, Waves, Fun. Fun has already gone. Maybe it'll be one of the coins that I'll remove from this list next because it has already bounced enough, but nevertheless, GMT has a really good wedge pattern. Stark is one of the strong Strongest drops, there's no clear exit or trend break, but the volume is present. It's one of the strongest drops, we need to keep an eye on it. Next is Mimi, very similar situation to Sturek. Then WLD with a very clear strong downtrend, one of the strongest volume spikes. Be sure to pay attention to this one. Make sure to pay attention, I've drawn the bottom very nicely here. It's coming out of the downtrend, you definitely need to look at this. Let's look further at NMR. Here's the downtrend line, we're breaking through it. There's also a horizontal level here, which we're passing as well. The volumes are just barely there, but nevertheless, the chart looks good and the coin blur is also near its all-time low, showing a vertical drop and also exiting the downtrend. Although the level here hasn't been overcome yet. There are quite a few of these small local levels. As for Wave specifically, I like old coins that have already proven themselves in the past, which is why I took this coin long. And what do we see on it? 
On the hourly chart, we've already transitioned. Here we see compression after compression to the level, a breakout of the level it's holding above one on the hourly. We've passed the compression to the second level, it's holding above the second. There's a pullback, a mirror level, a retest. But there are quite a few of these on the hourly chart. As soon as it passes them, well soon, there will be some kind of rapid recovery, similar to what we've seen with other coins. Look here, the total to Bitcoin ratio shows the capitalization of altcoins divided by Bitcoin's capitalization. In the long term, we're seeing something that looks like a bottom forming with a rounding trend. At the very least, we don't expect any sharp movements in the near future, exactly as I mentioned in the previous review. We might continue to hover around this level if we don't set a new bottom. This means there's no altcoin season yet, but if Bitcoin continues to grow, this chart, let's say, continues to fluctuate here, altcoins should also grow alongside Bitcoin. The altcoins that are currently very low are likely to shoot up significantly. Once again, I'll give you an example. Right now, I'm betting on coins that are near their all-time lows because the market has shown some strength. While we're not talking about an altcoin season yet, we're at least looking at a potential bounce. I have a minimum target here, as I mentioned earlier. It's worth considering taking some action, and I provide more timely information in Telegram, so subscribe, the link will be below. I mentioned this earlier, but I'll also try to appear on YouTube more frequently in the near future. Now, pay attention to this. I started my previous review by saying that I've been making reviews for several months, so you could see how accurate my information is. I predicted a long time ago that crypto would fall, and it has indeed fallen. Now, notice that when I provide updates so frequently, I'm already recording a second review within a few days. As I just said, I'll continue to do this moving forward. As an active trader, I'm quite flexible with the market, so if a trend breaks, I don't stick to it. Instead, I consider other ideas that I have. There's a counterpoint though. Beginners who watch my videos often get confused, thinking, Artyom, you, I said we'd fall, but now you're saying we'll grow. What are you on about? Beginners, they don't understand how trading works and that you need to be flexible. They can't grasp what's happening here. I'll explain now, and I might come back to this in the future, since many beginners are still watching. But what I just said doesn't mean that crypto will necessarily grow strongly, it could easily fall back down again. What I'm saying is that now's a good time to try going long, but don't... Let's talk about stop losses. You need to set a stop, meaning if the price collapses down there, well, obviously I won't hold until liquidation or keep buying more. No, you set a specific clear stop loss. If everything goes down, the scenario is cancelled, and will trade according to a different scenario that forms at that point. That's it, it's really that simple. Really, everything makes sense. As for the fact that I haven't made a video in a while and gave a long-term forecast there, I do this periodically on the channel, but I also have a lot coming up in the near future, just like in the past. There will be many reviews with current information, so subscribe. But you need to approach this correctly. It doesn't mean that after this review, the market will skyrocket. No, I'm just highlighting good opportunities with entry points. So, learn to trade, subscribe to the channel, don't forget about Telegram, and all the links below are useful, including the one for Bybit with a bonus. Good luck. Телеграм, ну и вообще ссылка внизу, все полезные, в том числе на Байбит с бонусом. Удачи!